Good morning everyone, or good evening, or good night, or whatever time you're watching this video. I am back with another skin care challenge and this was actually a highly requested video. You guys wanted me to try something to get rid of eye bags and dark circles. And one of you actually suggested cold spoon. So I'm gonna be using a cold spoon. I'm gonna be placing it right under my eye bags, right here on my dark circles, on my eye bags. And I'm gonna see if it actually helps or not. So since it's very popular, I have actually seen this remedy in many places like TikTok and on Google. And I actually used to do this when I was in like 7th or 8th grade. Only if I knew that my dark circles would get way worse. Because you know, you grow up, life gets hard, more sleepless nights, and a lot of more things to cry about. Like having to pay your own goddamn bills. I miss when I didn't have to pay for shit. So anyways, you may wonder, why cold spoon? What does it do? Let me explain it. So applying a little bit of pressure and gliding the spoon towards the outer corners helps with dark circles and puffiness is because the gliding movement actually helps drain the fluid that's pooling underneath your eye while the cold spoon minimizes the appearance of dark circles and puffiness. So that's why it is a very popular remedy for dark circles and eye puffiness. And also because the cool temperature constricts the blood vessel and the pressure of the spoon against the skin enhances lymphatic drainage of excess fluid. So I'm not really sure how much of this works. I don't really know if this remedy works or not because last time I tried, I was like, what? 13 years old or younger. I don't really remember, but I don't really remember the results, but I used to do it So, you know what? I'm gonna do it again at 21 years old. So let's go. Let's do this So you guys this is what my eye bags look like right now and by the way just ignore this it is actually a sty and this is a sty that i need to get like surgically removed and i haven't done it yet because i'm scared of the pain but anyways besides that um my eyes <laughs> look okay so yeah as you can see they are dark and they're like different in shape for some reason like this eye bag is way bigger than this one so yeah so i got these two spoons out of the freezer so i'm just gonna leave it in now god it's so cold so how long do you keep these cold spoons on your uh, eye bag? You can keep it for up to 5 to 10 minutes, but 5 minutes is the minimum and 10 to 15 minutes is the maximum. So yeah, that's it for day 1. This was super cold, but the coldness only like lasts for like a few seconds and then like you don't even feel it. But now if I touch it, my eye bags are actually cold, so yeah. Okay guys, so it is day 2. I don't think my body is still used to the cold, but let's do this. <laughs> I know that we're supposed to keep it for like 10 to 15 minutes, but after like three minutes, like the spoon just completely gets warm and it just gets doesn't feel cold anymore so i don't know for me i just keep it up to five minutes and that's about it okay you guys so it is day three i just came out of the shower it's like 1 a.m in the morning right now so time for the cold spoon so let's go Now, a cold compress can also relieve symptoms such as swelling, pain, and dryness. So, it can help people with dry eyes also. Or even pink eye. Or just the normal eye pain. So, yeah. Okay, so it is day four. And let's put these babies on my freaking dark circles. Let's go. Okay, I am definitely getting used to the cold. It doesn't even feel cold anymore. Let's try the other side. Ooh. <laughs> and yeah, that's about it for day four. Okay, folks, it is day four. No, it's day five. <laughs> okay, guys, so it is day five. Let's do this. Okay, why is it super cold today? So I'm not gonna glide it today, I'm just gonna leave it. Cause I feel like when I glide it, like um, it causes friction and I feel like it's gonna cause like darkness around that area because you know, brown skin and friction doesn't really go that well. So I'm just gonna do this. Ooh. 
and yeah okay you guys so today is the second last day and i just took a shower it's like 4 a.m in the morning what am i doing wrong with my life but anyways let's do this so i got my cold spoons okay oh my god it's cold Because I keep this in the freezer, it smells like meat and I hate that. Ugh, it just makes me feel so disgusting, like the smell of it. <laughs> okay, so what I've realized is that after like a few seconds, like my eye bags just go numb and I can't feel like it's cold anymore. But if I keep it here, it's still cold. So yeah, and I keep it here, it's warm, so. I'm just gonna keep it. <laughs> Okay, so today is the last day. Ah, oh my goodness. My eyes are getting dry every single day. I'm not sure if it's because of this or because of something else that I'm doing. I have no freaking idea. But anyways, today's the last day. That means tomorrow we are going to see the results. So anyways, let's do this. Oh. So it has been seven days and I'm still not used to the cold, but I feel like the spoons are getting warmer or just my eye bags are just getting numb even quicker because I remember the first day or the first two days, I didn't feel the cold coming from the spoon after like a minute or like it took a while, but now like on day seven after like a freaking minute or like 30 seconds, I don't feel it anymore. But if I keep it here, it's still freaking cold. <laughs> I'm not really a fan of the gliding movement. I don't know, it just feels so rough on my skin and I'm scared that friction will cause darkness. So I didn't do it for a couple of days, but I'm doing it now, so yeah. Okay, you guys, so it is results time. So what do I think? Keisha, stop making noise. That's the cat. So what do I think about cold spoons? Well, here's my before and after. As you can see, there is a difference. By the way, guys, I did use the same lighting as I did in my before and after picture. All of them are the same. As you can see, my eye bags did get lighter, but the size is still the same. Like, remember I told you guys in the beginning that um, my eye bags are a little different in size. So they're still the same, but my dark circles definitely did get lighter. So 10 out of 10 for that because I actually didn't think it would work for some reason. When I first started filming this video, I was like, will it actually work like will it actually lighten my dark circles because i knew that it would help with you know getting rid of um eye puffiness but with dark circles i didn't really think so but it did work so that's amazing this is definitely something i'm gonna keep doing because i get dark circles very easily and it is just so frustrating sometimes because concealer uh, i just can't use it every day i hate removing concealer at the end of the day so i love the results um i honestly didn't notice a major difference until like i took the pictures and you know i looked myself in the mirror and i was like did something happen did something change and yeah it was my dark circle so it is a little lighter so it's not that lighter so if i use it for more than a week i'm pretty sure i could see better results so I have been using this only for a week and I saw results. That's freaking amazing. That's actually amazing. Like, wow, you guys did a great job. I'm so proud of it, you know? So anyways, I'm happy. <laughs> so if you guys want to use cold spoons on your dark circles or your eye bags, go ahead because it does work. I'm going to give this like a 8 out of 10 or 9 out of 10 because it did help me with dark circles and dark circles were like, my main problem more than you know puffiness because i don't really have puffiness around my eye area but i do have like you know dark circles so yeah if i do this you could see it so anyways is it just me or have y'all ever met people who actually like dark circles or like eye bags on people like this generation actually likes those red eye bags or like you know those red dark circles on boys and that's something I saw on TikTok. Apparently people find it sexy and hot and I'm not really sure. I don't fit in that group. Like that is just not sexy or 
I don't know, hot or a turn on. But it's also not a turn off. I don't think people are ugly if they have dark circles. Like, I don't think of myself as ugly, like, obviously. So, um, I don't really know why people find it sexy. But hey, if you ever feel insecure about your eye bags or your dark circles, just know there are people out there who actually find it attractive. So that's a win-win, okay? So try to get rid of them if you want to, but if you wanna keep it, keep it. Maybe you'll find someone who actually finds them attractive someday. So you do you, girl. But anyways, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section down below what other videos you guys would love to watch and I would love to make them. And yeah, let me know what you think about this video and if you've ever tried this cold spoon method, let me know in the comment section down below. And how well it went for you or if it didn't work, let us know in the comment section down below because it would actually help others. So yeah, I appreciate you guys for watching my video. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, make sure you do that and also hit the bell button to get notified whenever I post. And yeah, do not forget to follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. And yeah, that's it for this video and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.